Hey, so welcome back, and this is another daily code problem. So today it was called Merge Strings Al Alternately. And so it's an easy level problem where all you're given is these two words here, and you just want to kind of interleave the, them two together. And so you just grab the first letter of the first word here, and then you take the first letter of the second word, and you just kind of add them together. And you take the second one of the first word and the second one of the word two, you add those, and just appears as that. So you just take it so that you grab one at a time and just you know rotate between which one you grab it from, okay? And so the only other trick here is that, okay, what if they have varying lengths? In that case, whichever one has a greater length, like this one has two extra letters than word one here, then you just add those at the very end here, uh, like so. Okay, and that's it. So I'll give you two different ways you can answer this. They are both the same algorithm, um, but you can do it in a one-liner. So I thought I would show you how to do it in just one line. Uh, but first, let's just kind of give you the, the longer solution because it's a bit simpler to understand. So you just grab the first and second letter in the zip of the two words. And then you just want to add these two letters together. And this is just our response string that we're going to return. So this will work for the first case, but it won't work for these two because we haven't yet considered, okay, what if one is longer than the other? And so what that is, is all that you have to do is get the difference in the length. So our difference is just the length of L1, or not L1, word one, and then the length of word two. And then now we know, okay, which one is longer than the other and by how much. So then we say, okay, if the difference is greater than zero, then we know that word one is longer than word two. So we just want to add the, so this will output like positive two. So we just want to slice this array so that, or that slice this string so we get the last two characters. And we can do that by just using the slice operation and negating it. So we can just grab the you know, remaining letters and by how many extra those letters are is marked by this difference. And then otherwise, if the difference is less than zero, then word two is longer. So you do the exact same thing, but for word two. Like so. And you just have to add a colon operator so you can grab multiple of them. Great, and so that's the first way that you can do this. You can also take this logic and just refactor it into actually one line, uh, just to show you the different Python methods because it's handy uh, at work or in these algorithms. So what you can do is you just use something called zip longest, and that is an extension of this where, okay, what if one is longer than the other? You can actually specify a fill value so we still want to zip these two words together, but say if word one ends before word two, we will just make the fill value like empty here. And so it'll just be like empty. Okay, and so what we can do is just say, okay, for our word one and a word two in this. And then why don't we just say, okay, then the result will be word one plus word two for that. And then we can just join this together into our resulting string, right? And so this will just convert into an array and we add them all together and then we can just join them by an empty string. And then we just specify the fill value like so just say, okay, if one's longer than the other, then just set, say if word one is longer, then these ones, or word two, if word one's longer, then these word twos will just be filled with this empty string. And so that will look like this. Awesome. Accepted. And that's the algorithm. So yeah, so for time and space complexity, um, since they're both using like a string that we're returning, you can argue that that's a space complexity of 
O of the length of word one plus the length of word two. And then for time complexity, it's the same thing because you will have to iterate through all the strings and whichever one is like the longer string, that's like the true uh, like upper bound on the time complexity. But yeah, so that's it for today and good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Thanks for watching.